Greetings folks, it's always an exciting day when one of these little packets turns up from Maytech. This is the new F722WP export. Uh, it is kind of an upgrade of the F722 wing uh, with a few little add-ons and extras. So you can see we've got lots of wires hanging off it here. There's the size of the board. Compare that to the old faithful uh, F405 wing. It's a smaller board. Uh, comes with a base plate and the top plate. Extra wires and it has this wonderful uh, external buzzer USB-C connector on off switch for the buzzer and um, DFU button on there. It has uh, another one of these uh, six pin JSTSH connectors for connecting a Matec uh, GPS if you want to. And the WPX part of it uh, means that it has the uh, pixel based OSD, the FR Sky OSD on it as well. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, I like the small size, that's going to fit in uh, smaller spaces very nicely. Also on the website I noticed they have a little quick start guide to print out now which is great. Uh, you can have a look at all the wiring and the uh, setup details in hard copy rather than on a screen which is cool. All right, closer look. F722 processor MPU 6000 IMU. Uh, the barometer is the new DPS310. Uh, OSD is the pixel-based OSD, has black box micro SD socket, uh, six UARTs, five of them available for use, one soft serial, 10 PWM outputs, uh, one I2C, uh, four analog inputs, VBAT, current RSSI and airspeed, uh, the two little connectors for peripherals there, uh, switchable camera inputs and switchable uh, voltage for camera and video transmitter, can run on 2 to 6S LiPos, 132 amp high precision current sensor, uh, BECs for peripherals, 5 volts, 2 amps, and a switchable or a selectable 5 volt to 6 volt for servos, a filtered VBAT for the video transmitter, which we all love, and uh, that's about it for the specs. But it also looks like we have uh, ESC telemetry input available too for the two motors. Uh, you can see on the wiring diagram down the bottom here, it says uh, the blue wire is where you connect the ESC telemetry and they're reminding you don't connect the red wire from the ESC to that, that pad. All right, time for a close-up look at the board. And they're getting smaller, so they're getting harder to, to, um, to video close-up, I have to say. Hopefully we're in focus. So battery input there, ESC outputs there. Two positives and two negatives. Uh, ESC connection, signal connections there, and this RX1 is where you connect the uh, telemetry wire from the uh, ESC if you have them. Six PWM outputs here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and uh, nine and ten are over here. Camera one, five volts there. Camera two on VBAT and video transmitter on VBAT. UART 2, UART 5, UART 3, uh, I2C there, uh, airspeed sensor, RSSI, and let's have a look at the buzzer board. There's the buzzer, boot button there, and USB-C connection there, which makes life very easy. And there's the on-off switch for the buzzer. Now this little solder bridge here is where you change from 5 volts to 6 volts for the servos. This fella here is the FR Sky OSD. This is the MPU 6000 gyros and accelerometer. And this is the barometer here. And if we look on the and if we look on the bottom plate, you'll see there's a, a foam pad there which will sort of sit over the barometer to uh, help with the accuracy of the of the uh, altitude readings. That's very nice. Now this is another one of those boards that have come out a little bit before their time. They're not fully supported by iNav, not all the, all the components anyway. Uh, we have to wait for 2.64 full compatibility. I don't think the 
The barometer isn't supported by the version of INAV from the configurator. You have to download the, the one provided on the Maytech website. And the Pixel OSD isn't fully supported just yet. It does work okay, but you don't have lots of the features. Uh, lots of the potential hasn't been realized at this stage, but it's coming soon, I'm sure. All right, all I have to do now is solder it up, attach the wires, and uh, we don't get pins provided with this one, it seems, and decide which of my planes gets the privilege of testing out the Maytech F722WPX board. And that video will be coming up soon. Thanks for watching.